First of all, fuck Apple. Uh, they make you know why are you gonna why make a fucking piece of shit that don't uphold? Um, when they know you know they got fucking the capability to make phones that don't break and shit. It's all a fucking power trip. Anyways, this is like the first. Of, this is probably like the only real appearance. As of right now, that we're gonna get from the shadow government. Oh, can y'all even see that? Can't. All right. Talk about. And then, of course, they're gonna copy your yell. You know what I'm saying? Let's say Pope Francis, there's concern over your liberal interpretation of the Bible. Relax. I just don't take it as gospel. But then look at this shadow creature thing right there. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? So that's the Jews trying to like let the world know like, hey, we here, but they ain't finna just come out and shit like that. What does that say? The Pope's reforms doesn't, you know, okay, whatever. This was important though. This was crazy right here. Cause I be rapping this shit. If y'all go listen to the Tartarus mixtape, what I got? I got uh, Death for Sale. I got a song called Death for Sale. All right. What does it say right here? Hold on. Come on. It says Killing Machine. I'm just going to read it out loud. At what point does the House and Senate acknowledge that war is simply one government? <laughs> And then they got it in parentheses. I'm just going to disregard this parentheses shit. Russia. Blah, blah, blah. War is simply one government sending men and machinery to hunt and kill human beings. In order to plunder or seize their land and possessions. Question mark. There is no noble or justifiable purpose for killing thousands of Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they got Ukrainian. Thousands of civilian men, women, and children. The deaths of those children are for no purpose other than for blank. Well, they got Russia to steal land and resources from. The, okay, disregard the, the, the titles of like the specific countries, but they pretty much saying that it's one government. And all these niggas work together and they be sending motherfuckers with machines to kill each other, a.k.a. the human beings. So that they, because they consider themselves real men and women. Real thoughts and feelings or I'm not going to go into all that, but. In order to pl in order to plunder or seize their land and possessions. That's crazy. Just blatantly right there in the newspaper. With the on the Pope on the Pope page. You get what I'm saying? Big cap. Another budget, another budget busting pork fest. You y'all niggas is porking each other, you pork bastards. If you ever play GTA Vice City, Tommy Versetti says that to the police. <laughs> He be he called pork bastards. Uh, shout out to the bird man. Uh, yeah, that's crazy, bro. They just openly be talking about how they just like, like, why is this even in the newspaper? Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta think about shit. They just be copying. They just be copying. I'm about to shower. For your bath to shower conversion. Like, stop it. Of course, they go, ready to toss the tub? Shower conversions add space and luxury. Fuck out of here, dude. And he's got pages of just like shit and rubbles and shit. Yeah, I'm just like, kind of fucking weird. Where are we in? Fuck the Pope. You know what I'm saying? I hope that nigga dies. <laughs> Do 
Jersey score, 1.13 billion prize won. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Bro, there's people out here with fucking really, like, nowhere to live. But yet they got all the funds and shit for these fake-ass lottery jackpots. And Like, what? Is, is the world paying attention? Liberman. That nigga died, too. Fuck that nigga. But his name was Liberman. They go throw an investigation of bridge collapse begins. Y'all niggas know what happened. This is crazy. This craziness. What was the, the main one that I, I seen? This one was big right here. Michigan nuclear plant to get $1.5 billion for restart. But then there's, on the what page are niggas talking? But then these niggas is talking about fucking debt and shit. Hold on, where are these niggas at? They just want to slander. You know what I'm saying? These niggas just be puppets. Don't get lost in Trump or Biden. These All these niggas work together. Otherwise, the fuck is we talking about? Last week, Congress passed a $1.2 trillion measure to avert another government shutdown. Are y'all niggas retarded? Who's the government? They are. It's the Mary Poppins method of governing where a little bit of sugar makes the medicine go down. Adam Andrzejewski. Andrzejewski. Huh? Andrzejewski. That's literally his name. A-N-D-R-E-Z-E-J-E-W-S-K-I. CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com told the National Desk, Congress needs a little bit of corruption to pass these massive spending bills. A previous budget deal, which dealt with six of the 12 appro appropriations bills that make up dis discretionary spending, contained nearly 6,000 earmarks at a cost of $12.7 billion. According to Senator Mike Lee, a Utah Republican. Re, uh, Reason Magazine's Eric Boehm highlighted a handful of the most egregious examples of unnecessary federal spending, including $2.5 million for a kayaking facility in New Hampshire. $2.7 million for a bike path in a small West Virginia town. And $3.5 million for the outfit that runs Detroit's annual Thanksgiving parade. A group backed by former Vice President Mike Pence also complied a list of what is a list of what it what it views as wasteful in quotations woke pork initiatives, including $1.1 million for climate resilience and, the, and equity in Massachusetts. $200 million for gender equity and equality action, and $400,000 to a New Jersey company that provides gender-affirming clothing. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Gender-affirming clothing. What the fuck? Lord Jesus Christ. $7 billion or $7 trillion annual. Uh, in the meantime, this president proposes $7 trillion dollars annual budgets that depend on borrowing trillions more like what the fuck are we talking about y'all yet niggas want to go to work and be a slave for these people bro that's that's how i look at it bro there's more to that bro the, hold on what was i really it might be this other page bro that's fucking crazy dog just the fact, like they just blatantly talking about trillions and billions in the, in the, in the, in the aliens. Like who? Like you know what I'm saying? I can't even count past a trillion.
this Liberman nigga dies at 82. Good. He wasn't connecting with nobody. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't connected to us. He might have. They might be mourning his ass in the, over there on Capitol Hill and shit. But ain't nobody give a fuck about that nigga. What did I just? What was important? Lord, North Las Vegas bought back land that had been planned for a medical campus. Like Pope Francis appeared in Better Health during his weekly audience. We don't give a fuck. Old ass nigga, he looking real decrepit. You know what I'm saying? He looking real depressed. You know, just give it up. This was crazy right here. Twin sue OBGYN for fraud. Claim doctor secretly impregnated mother with his sperm. That's fucking crazy. Whether that's true or not, it's in the paper. That's crazy. Lie, 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 Berman. Forget this nigga. That's just a body. The name is a title that go. They they use names and shit like characters and shit. Who this nigga? That might not even be his actual fucking name. Whatever. I'm not gonna get all <sighs> labor. Nevada leads in job growth, jobless rates. This is retarded, bro. And then they want to celebrate these niggas, police niggas. Death toll in a concert hall attack rises 143. Yeah, that was in Moscow. What did I see that was kind of important? That was more. Some shit. That's crazy, bro. I don't give a fuck about no shit like that. I'm not saying nothing wrong with going to get a job and taking care of yourself. I'm not saying that, y'all. But they just blatantly got all this shit, like, in the fucking newspaper that nobody ever even reads no more because everybody's distracted by now these phones and shit. So nobody's really reading the newspaper no more. I don't think anybody ever gave a fuck anyway. So people just be dead spiritually and just trying to get their desires met. This is crazy, dog. I'm trying to keep my sanity each day. But I, quite frankly, I've been very insane. Because the world's insane. And I'm ready to change, but the world don't want to get out of lower animalistic natures and heaviness. Don't know how to transmute shit. When it be just simple shit like, like let's do something else. Why we keep work? Why we keep listening to some? I don't even know. I ain't never met not one goddamn politician like that. Nor even if I did, they probably. They, I never met one that gave a fuck about me. Or my family, because my shit, my family and, and my, so we going through, you know what I'm saying? Experiencing some real shit at the moment. And I don't, not no goddamn, ain't no pot. Well, like, where's the, where's my trillion dollars? The fuck? Where's Uriel, you know what I'm saying? Where's Uriel and the Soul Group's trillion dollars? Since they just got like, since they just throwing around millions and trillions and shit. We want to really be at the table because we know you, the paper is really useless. You get what I'm saying? If they just if they just throw on paper, on paper, you know what I'm saying? If they talk about paper in the in the newspaper, then they like what is paper at this point? We're not talking about paper, y'all. Growing pains. President Joe Biden was recently in Las Vegas to tout affordable housing, while Governor Joe. Lombardo, like a uh, what is that em embargo act? Joe Lombardo, oh, sloppy Joe head, asked the president to cut red tape and release the federal land for more housing. The Clark County Commission voted to approve thirty million in affordable housing projects. First, I'd like to ask all three what they consider to be affordable housing. Giving $15,000 to new home buyers does not make homes more affordable, particularly when that money comes from taxpayers such as me who received no such benefit. 
one factor that has happened here over the past five years is people moving from California with higher incomes and the profits from the homes they sold. They have driven the price of owning and renting in Las Vegas to high levels. The growth here has been at a percentage not imagined nor prepared for. That's a goddamn lie. Who thinks adding more affordable housing is going to change that? I get it. Yeah, I mean, I read that. I read that there have been more than 6,300 evictions so far this year in Clark County. More than 30,000. It sounds like gentrification of Las Vegas. That's what it sounds like. But people running from California to come out here to just make this the new place to boost up prices until everybody else is ready to leave Las Vegas. Because it gets too expensive. out, So it's like, what the fuck are we doing, people? Some of the locations were left empty and taken over by squatters. Shit, that's what I should be doing, I suppose. You know what I'm saying? No, I see it'd be some of these land areas where it'd be like niggas set up. They set up tents and shit. And they just be there, you know what I'm saying? On some vacant property that's, you know, in some project. You know what I mean? They might be preparing two, three, four years from now to do something with it, but they got to pass all these laws and dumbass shit. Meanwhile, niggas is just like, man, we need somewhere to live right now, nigga. Boom. Niggas start setting up shop. But it's like, why can't we do that on the broader level? You know what I'm saying? Niggas be content with a little patch of land, a little small little crumb of land when we really need to be a, like, come on, people. Everybody could be.